Hi, and welcome to Dubai Real Estate Philosophy. My name is Ahmed, and in this video, we're going to talk about Imar, the main master developer in Dubai, the biggest master developer in Dubai. So number one, Imar is a master plan community developer. Right now, how Dubai works, and we're going to talk about this more in depth as we talk about the communities uh, in upcoming videos. Stay tuned for that. Uh, basically, what MR and majority of these developers do is that they are a master plan community developer, right? They don't actually do the construction. And what their job is, is that they have years and years and years of experience in creating lifestyle, lifestyle in a community, right? Now, that will include, you know, when you make houses, the streets in front of those houses, the parks, the pools, the clubhouse, maybe the golf course. And every single tree that's planted, every single design that's done is done by MR and is maintained by MR. So when they do create a community, like let's say Dubai Hills Estate, Dubai Creek Harbor, Dubai Marina, downtown, of course, with the beautiful Burj Khalifa. And all these things are basically designed by MR and they are maintained by MR. So that's why when a lot of tourists, they come to Dubai, they wonder, well, you know, there's no potholes in the roads. The trees look perfect. The landscaping is beautiful. Well, because a lot of the times they're in a community, right? And that community is maintained by private developers rather than the Dubai municipality, uh, you know, and having government contractors come and maintaining it. It's the developer's job and duty and their reputation on the line to ensure their communities are great. That's why it's amazing. So this is how what a master plan developer is, right? Now, one of those and arguably the number one spot for those developers is MR. Very well known brand. Most people watching this video, you know, have heard about MR, know about MR. So we're going to talk about why MR is great, right? So number one is that they really do have a global presence, right? They're not just in uh, Dubai and the UAE. They also have many projects around GCC in Saudi Arabia and many other GCC countries. And of course, in Asia, they have projects in Pakistan in India and other countries as well. So they're very diversified when it comes to their area and they have a lot of expertise. They've been at this for a long time, right? Now, uh, moving on is that it is the point number two is that it's a very iconic brand, right? Iconic being in the sense that they are the ones who constructed Burj Khalifa, uh, which is the tallest tower in the world. It has been for more than a decade now. And they're coming up with Creek Tower in Creek Harbor, Dubai Creek Harbor, which we're going to discuss in another video for Creek Harbor. And that is going to be the next tallest tower in the world because they did create Burj Khalifa. They constructed it and they waited for a long time before they wanted to release the Creek Harbor before. So someone else could, you know, would challenge them, come up. And we've seen many examples, for example, let's say the Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia and other, you know, multiple countries, I believe in China and some other countries. So, but those projects never came to fruition. And here we are almost a decade later and more than a decade later. And Burj Khalifa is still the tallest standing tower in the world. And of course, Dubai Mall being the largest mall in the world and multiple projects. So they have a lot of iconic projects that they have, which they are very well known for. Right. And uh, moving on from that, as we mentioned before, is that they are, you know, one of the largest companies in the world. They have all these huge projects. You know, it makes them very financially stable. So financially stable, number one, look, MR is a publicly listed company, right? So they are audited by big four, you know, all their, uh, they have a board, you know, of investors. So they're very accountable rather than if you can say other, some other private developers, which are, you know, let's say not publicly listed, they might not have that same level of accountability, right? Because, okay, maybe they delayed a project. Great. Well, they're a private developer. I mean, you're the only one who's holding them accountable. Whereas if you look at MR, they also not only did they have to provide the best projects and the services on time to the customers, they also have a board of investors that they need to answer to. And if they do something wrong and, uh, you know, something gets delayed or something that affects their reputation, which affects their, of course, their share price. And of course, they're again accountable to the investors and the shareholders of the company. So that's why it is very the best interest of everyone to make sure that they provide and they deliver on what they promise. Right. And they do. So far, they have done. They have great communities, as we're going to talk about in future videos, Dubai Hills Estate uh, and Dubai Creek Harbor, two of the best upcoming communities in Dubai. And moving on from that, they are very diversified. So they are not only building communities and just residential, but they're, as mentioned before, they have the world's largest mall in the world, tallest tower in the world. 
they also have address which is their hospitality brand so they have five star hotels around the world again it's not just in dubai so they're very experienced and that experience helps them in creating communities that you know have hotels they have commercial space like malls for example dubai hills estate has uh you know the uh, dubai hills mall second largest mall in dubai downtown has dubai mall and of course commercial you know the mr business park all these things so they really understand what people need in a community and how to provide it how to maintain it and they have delivered and they have a that's why they are number one and they have a great reputation moving on from imar a lot of people when they you know discuss about uh real estate and you know dubai and you know a lot of people say oh it's a bubble there's a lot of problem look you really have to understand the fundamentals right see when you see the reason a bubble forms is because you have all this construction going on okay and they try to finish the construction and then they sell, try to sell the projects right well if you have a lot of obviously construction takes time you can't just print houses it takes 3 4 5 years for a development to be completed and by the time it's completed there's already so many developments and all of a sudden every 3 to 5 years you have all these developments that suddenly come in the market and now there's a huge uh, supply and there's not that much demand for it well now you have a bubble because then the price has to readjust right well in dubai that's not how it really works if you see construction going on it is already sold out see a building does not a community a building or whatever is being developed from these master plan developers when it starts construction it is already sold out it will not start construction most of the time unless it is actually sold out the the amount the money you have paid is already in an escrow account which we will talk about in detail on the buying process we'll make a future video for that stay tuned for that and the developer already has the money it is already sold out and those people and investors are now waiting for this construction to be completed so either they can live in it or they can rent it out short term rent it out or sell it obviously you know at 20 25% 30% appreciation so this is why you know it's very different it's a very different model than how the world follows where you know the dubai land department which is another agency again we'll talk about that in a future video and which you pay 4% DLD to which we spoke about in a previous video the reason you pay him that 4% is so they came up come up with all these regulations to make sure that people the, the the market the real estate market stays you know very stable very fiscally responsible they don't it's not just everything is running on debt okay that's another thing all these developers not a lot of them have a lot of debt whereas you know if you compare to the west maybe in US and stuff they have very very low artificially kept interest rates so then all these people they just borrow a ton of money for you know very cheaply and they go and they make all these developments on, based on cheap money and then they have problems in the end when they're not selling right over here it's not like that the government and the banks they're very fiscally responsible so there's not a lot of debt okay all these projects that are being constructed are sold out before they are being constructed so uh, this is just you know that's basically my point in why a lot of people say that you know is dubai, dubai an economy no of course not look it's all cyclical in real estate it's cyclical everyone knows that obviously the market goes down will there be a correction of course there's always a correction there has to be a correction that's maybe 15 20% give or take but see that's the thing real estate takes time right we especially when we buy and talk about off plan projects you're not going to get that right now you're going to get that 3 4 years later 3 4 years later let's say even if there's a correction now in a year or two in 2 years 3 years time it will stabilize again that's how real estate works right so for those people you really have to understand that this and again these are some of the differences that are in the west or european markets asian markets and in dubai because dubai was there a big crash yes of course 2008 the entire world was affected but that is exactly why dubai then formed uh DLD and RERA which is the real estate regulatory authority and DLD which is the Dubai land department to ensure that these things don't happen again okay and to make sure your investment is secure so anyways this was just a bit about Imar and just a bit about the Dubai economy so I'll catch you guys again in another video for uh more in-depth community and in those we will talk about you know the numbers the pricing the payment plans how all those things work make sure that community is suitable for you or we can find other communities so if you have any questions let me know you can reach me through my whatsapp in the description below and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye for now and you can conveniently reach out to me directly on my whatsapp by scanning the qr code at the top right corner